Hi, Steve, not an anxiety specialist here. I want to talk to you today about something that's a little bit taboo, something that rarely ever gets spoken about, but it's something I hear literally every day in my office. Every day I get inquiries about these things. And what we're going to talk about today is obtrusive thoughts. So what are obtrusive thoughts? These are thoughts that pop into your mind that you feel you've got no control over. And the start off fairly minor and they can really explode into quite serious thinking and some of these obtrusive thoughts that people have these days they really horrify the person who's having them and these are people these are decent people these are people who would never ever do the things that the thoughts are thinking about in their mind and these are thoughts about killing people these are thoughts about paedophilia having sex with children, even having sex with animals. These are things that these days I'm dealing with more and more each and every day. And, and obviously it's not the sort of thing that people confide to their friends about often, but it is absolutely horrific for the person who is suffering from these, these thoughts and thinking patterns. And they're mortified that at some point in the future, they might actually go ahead and carry out some of them thoughts. So obtrusive thoughts, there, there are things that start off quite small and if you don't get a handle on them, the bigger they get and they can get a little bit out of control. And I'm here to tell you that it's more common than what you think. I've had people phone me up and they've been absolutely horrified because they have ideas about stabbing members of the family, um, having sex with members of their own family, absolutely things that they would never do. They are, they're absolutely horrified at the idea of that but it's almost like they've got a thought stuck in their mind and the more they try to think about something else or not think about it the more it seems to be there prevalent but the good news is that if you suffer from obtrusive thoughts and you feel like it's getting a little bit out of hand it can actually be cured it can actually be worked on and removed through my thought retraining process i've used it many many times with people with great great success so what i'm going to say to you is if you want to message me privately in complete confidentiality feel free to do that and we can have a little chat and i'll talk you through how exactly we can help with those obtrusive thoughts but it is simply something you need to get a handle on it's not the sort of thing that you want to just let slide and just let's see how it goes because the longer you do it the more habitual they become. So I will not judge you on anything at all that you tell me on that telephone. I will not be shocked by anything at all because I've literally heard it all. So if that's you and you're suffering from obtrusive thoughts, whether they are just the minor ones or whether they are really major ones, get in touch and do something about it because I don't want to hear about in five years time that you've been um, committed to an institution because you've literally sent yourself mad with it. So get in touch if that's you and let's get things sorted. You're not alone. So I'll see you again soon for another video and have a great day.